All right, welcome back everybody. Hope you're all doing all right. This is just a quick video to update to 5.4 in case because there was somebody who had issues with that. Because uh, this is a CPP project, right? So you need to update the actual source files, which is this one, the SLN file. So I'm just quickly gonna do that. So first we right click this one, the actual uh, U U project file. We select switch engine versions, select 5.4. It's gonna out generate project files. Let it do that for a second. Pum, pum. That is way slower than expected, so I'm just gonna pause while it does this. Sweet, there we go. Now, if we just make sure we selected the right version, switch, it's now 5.4. What we are not gonna do now is we're not gonna launch it through this one. First, we need to compile the actual editor. So we're gonna open a SLN project, trust and open. This is just stuff that I have for my own project. Uh, so we're just gonna let it compile. Or the you will obviously have this as well, but could pretty much ignore it. And we're gonna let it prepare the solution here. So let's wait for that. And there we go, it seems to have compiled fine. Now we're just gonna press, uh, I'm using Rider, uh, but you probably have, most people have Visual Studio. Uh, so you could just click on the, uh, I think in Visual Studio specifically, uh, I think you right click this and do build selected project could do that i'm just gonna press ctrl f5 so it's your project there now we're gonna let it build Everything takes a long time for me today for some reason. One of 13. Okay, let me pause while this builds. And yeah, I actually got an error while compiling. So maybe this is what you had on issue. The, the, there was somebody who had an issue upgrading to 5.4 who wrote in a comment. So this could be the issue. Uh, you see this. And we have this character details, I think, in uh, Blueprints. If you're not doing the CPP stuff, that's mostly for me. But this one says data table generated age already including. So we need to add pragma once or just that's not needed. So we do not need to include that, I think. There we go. And now we should successfully have upgraded to 5.4. I just need to compile the shader, shaders, so I'm gonna pause again. And there we go. So the project is now opened, com shaders compiled, and everything should be back to normal. Just realized something that we need to fix. Because uh, you can tell with the first attack I did there was quite laggy. That's because the async is the asynchronous load. It's like loading in the attack the first time I do it. Uh, so we probably need to preload stuff. So like when the when the game starts, we should probably preload and save the loaded variables to a new array or something to avoid that. Anyway, 
that's gonna be it for this video just a quick one to update to 5.4 we'll see what we do in the next one see you soon bye